Hi there, this video is going to show you how you can give every student a clean copy of a Google document, slides, or Google Sheets that you want them to fill out. So maybe you've created a Google document, it's got some questions on it, or you want them to write something or create a Google Slides and you've set up a template, and now you want every single student to have their own copy of it and be able to do it right inside of Canvas. So I'm going to show you how. First, go into Canvas, click the Assignments link on the side, we're going to start a new assignment. You can give it whatever title you'd like. In this box, you can type the directions. You can add any information, pictures, video, whatever you want to give uh, information-wise. You can type it right there in that box. Of course, you can set up your points. Um, if you don't have assignments uh, group set up, then just leave that as default, no problem. It probably says for you online. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the down arrow and we're going to choose external tool. And then we're going to click find and we're going to use not Google Drive, but the one that says Google Docs Cloud Assignment. Let's go ahead and click that. Now, if your Google Drive doesn't load from here, it could be one of two things. Number one, you're not logged into your school Google account or number two you've not linked your school Google account to your canvas account um, if you haven't linked them yet you know, it's a one-time thing once you do it once you never have to do it again but if you haven't linked them yet then just contact Stephanie Walker or myself Linda Horner and we're happy to show you how to do that or ask a colleague maybe who, if they know how all right so once it loads it's your Google Drive these are all my folders in my Google Drive and you're just gonna find whatever it is that you want to assign to the kids so here I've created a Google Doc again it could be slides or sheets and it's got some questions and some links that I want students to complete so I'm gonna click it it's gonna give it a little check mark I'm gonna hit submit give it a second and then I'm gonna hit select and it's going to load it I'll show you what it looks like here in a second I'm gonna come down here and say save now the teacher view is slightly different from the student view but you will get the idea so I have my title, I wrote title for the title. I've got my directions, whatever information I wanna give the kids, it's gonna show up right here. And then the Google Doc that I created and want every student to fill out is gonna be right here. Now, student version's a little bit different. They're gonna be able to click on this corner and drag it to make it as big as they want so that they can see more of it than this little uh, slip of it. And the other thing the students will see is a button right here that says submit. So as soon as they're done typing, they can click the submit button and that's how they're turning it in. All right, so here's my Google document. Um, I've got some links that I want them. Here's a video. They're just going to click it, then they can click the link to the video. But most of you probably have it set up where you're wanting them to answer some questions. So you can see that the students are going to be able to type right in whatever chart or boxes that you give them. Um, remember, in a Google document or slides, you don't want to provide lines to write on. Um, so instead, just give them boxes, I think, is the easiest way. And they can fill in all the boxes and do all the the things you're wanting them to do and then when they're done again they have a submit button right here and they're going to submit it a couple of things to note if they have a computer or a Chromebook this is going to be no problem whatsoever they'll be able to do it just like this however if they have an iPad or other type of tablet I know we're not allowing them but they might show up with them um, they have Google through Google Apps only, not through the online Google. So they won't be able to type right here and submit it right here. So what they're gonna need to do is go to their Google app. And when they opened this assignment, this document automatically saved to their Google Drive. So once they go into that app and go into their Google Drive app, they're gonna be able to find this document and edit it. When they're done, they'll have to come back to this assignment to hit that I know we can't see it, but right there for the students will be the Submit tab. And really, that goes for any student. So if the student doesn't like the size of this, maybe they can't make it as big as they want to, they can always go to their Google Drive, fill it out there, come back here and hit the Submit tab if they would prefer that method. Um, so again, this format really just gives every student kind of that clean document so that you know they're not editing on each other's everybody just has the one document to complete and an easy quick and way to, to do it right inside of canvas